Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. It's the morning after the commitment ceremony where everyone's still stumbling from last night's commitment ceremony where Daniel and Carolina asked if they could stay. That was ridiculous and just to think that they'd be able to come back in like, that's a nerve. It takes the piss out of this whole experiment. It takes the piss out of us. It takes the piss out of everybody on the couch. Al has a plan. Sort of, kind of. Now, here's the final test. Next time you see her, Ask her out for the following night. The book says that's forbidden. He tells Sam he wants to do something fun together so that they can have a beautiful final memory. He's telling her it's just as friends, even though it's a master plan to make her love him. I want to plan an activity for us both. That'll be really fun. Just so we end things on a better note. She agrees to stay one more week. You happy to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, thank you. That's right. That'd be good. It'll be good. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be good. Trust me. Trust me. I'll, well, I'm, I'm staying I'm, a whole other way for this activity. Yes, yes. I promise it'll be really good. Sam said yes. But now we're here at Homestays Week with just four remaining couples. I'm excluding Sam and Al, of course. It's a little bit nerve wracking going mm. to Homestay because I'm going to your Homestay. Meanwhile, Dominica and Jack have arrived on Dominica's family farm. The Teletubbies on the roof turbine. The Teletubbies on the roof turbine. And hanging blender jugs. What? 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 Hey, oh my god. <laughs> Dominica's dad is now showing Jack who is a vegetarian, mind you, where he does murders. Alright, kill him, kill him in sheep. Do all the gut in here. I'm assuming this is it. So this is the You're taking me to the murder <laughs> den. Dom's dad invites Jack into what he calls the dungeon and Jack obliges. Poor Jack, what could he have done? Are you alright? Yeah. So it's absolutely vital that I make a good impression. In Jackson's apartment, Liv tells Damo she's a I'm a petty bitch, like I'll hate this girl. I'll hate her till I die. She then tells them the bridesmaid dress story as if it's her proudest moment. Babes, we need to stop sharing that publicity. Just know. It's embarrassing. She fired me for being a bridesmaid and told me to like give her the $380 dress that I'd bought myself and like had. She asked for it back. So I cut it up and sent it to her. You're wearing that. Are you wearing that? Yeah. Back at the farm, Dom's dad is questioning Jack over a spot of weight in the family's, um, in the family's kitchen, family's gym, gym kitchen. Sure. That makes sense. I have full trust in Dom that she's got my back and vice versa. She knows that I have hers. Over in Bondi, Tamara is visiting Brent's studio apartment. In the apartment, she's horrified. Where are we going to fit our things? Like, where, where am you, I going to fit my stuff? To be honest with you, oh, we, we, can, we can put the stuff away, but where as to put the suitcases look, I don't know. I live in a four-bedroom house. It turns out Tamara lives in a four-bedroom house. Good for you, Tam Tam. Good for you. I like money. Why do you only have two pillows? Um... I don't know. I don't need more. Selena is visiting Cody's apartment in Sydney's Northern Beaches. Hi! Hello, mate. Hi, Selena. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Zach. I've heard so much about you. But it's not the size of Cody's place that's the problem. It's the fact that it's a stank pad. Cody's housemate has decorated the abode with rose petals. He also hung some new art on the wall. And by art... I mean a poster of Celine and Cody with watermelons photoshopped in. Except Selena's watermelon looks like a vagina. Look at this one. Wow. You nailed it. Cody's not the remain sick type, so I've decided to um, help him out a little bit. <laughs> Very uh, thoughtful. <laughs> Very romantic. <laughs> Why am I holding a watermelon like that? Selena touches the poster why and it's sticky 
Of course it is. And that just says everything about this apartment. Yeah, this house could definitely do with a woman's touch. But I'm really excited about seeing Cody's natural habitat. Over at Ella's parents' house, Mitch is scoping out how much naked handstand space there is in the in-suite bathroom. And that's about as exciting as their homestay gets. So this is the first person that I've brought home in... Very long, long time. Very long time. Well, I don't know who wears white to a farm, but anyway. <laughs> Jack's parents have arrived at the Teletubbies farm and Jack's mom is not dressed for the farm. And just to highlight that, Dominica's dog just took a dump when Jack's parents arrived. Now, speaking of dogs, Tamara hates Scooby. What did Scooby do? Scooby do we do? Oh, I miss you guys so much. I know, I miss yeah, you no. guys too. Oh, come in. You've got to be in the picture too, darling. I know. But their friendship is very important. That needs to stay there. There needs to be, you know, something that you can always rely upon. Mm -hmm. We're suddenly thrown into Selena's nightmare. The loudest, rustiest, dustiest, more haunted contraption we've ever seen on television. Yep. It's Cody's fan. Come on, how are you? I'm good. Sorry to the top wake you up. You heard this. The haunted house kitchen taps makes a devil sound. It's called rooster cup. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's your rooster cup? I've been eating this. I think I thought like back of dad's place. Like, yeah. So don't break it. And we escape the haunted house to a regretful Liv who regrets telling Jackson's friends she's a petty bee. So I'm feeling a bit embarrassed this morning. I think there's been a bit of oversharing on my part, I would say. Maybe holding my tongue right now is the best remedy. Like the vibe is just like off about the whole thing. I don't cook much, but I cook scrambled eggs. What are you doing? I'm in butter in the bacon. You're going to cause a heart attack. I'm not. More butter. Just a little bit. That is not a little bit. Walk away and forget about it. Jackson announces that he wants Liv to come to the gym with him and she hates being there because it reminds her of being overweight and she'd rather be having a tea party with Dom. So I hate gyms. I absolutely hate being here, but that's okay. I'll do a lot for you. It's just like so reminiscent of being overweight and torturing myself at the gym. This is a massive part of his life and I can't express how much I hate it. I'd rather have a tea party with Dom than do this, honestly. Jackson tells Liv that the gym is his world and she feels threatened by the gym because she believes she should be his world by now. And she's not joking. I'm your world now. This is still... A little bit little bit like things have changed buddy i'm supposed to be a whole world now Couch potatoes i'm going to see you tomorrow as we watch olivia continue to ruin her relationship with jackson hey couch potato thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you soon